Hey there, Andrew, C1D Paintball, this game being played at Warzone Paintball in Rigo, Quebec. We are playing Team Deathmatch on Tireball. Now, we split the teams from two teams playing on Market and playing on Village uh, to three teams because honestly, if you're playing with like eight guys each per side on Tireball, not horribly feasible, a little too shooty. Uh, to the point where friendships can be destroyed. So take that in consideration. Uh, we have a team of five C1D guys facing another team of five, couple of C1D guys on that side, but um, mostly a, a group that just joined us for the day. All day they were kind of sitting back on the other, they were on the other team we played against. Uh, they were sitting back all day doing a lot of long balling, uh, waiting for us. Uh, we knew that it's hard to do that on this field, so we're going to rush up into a position, not too close, but close to the midline, and take it from there. Now, uh, it's called smudge because there is a smudge on my camera, that kind of in the top right section when you're watching, but what happens in the video, I think is good enough, you can ignore that smudge. Uh, it's the secondary camera, it's a drone camera supplied by Mike Nichols, thank you Mike for that one. Uh, that's going to show you what really is uh, a gutsy move by the enemy player. Although I'll explain, one we should have been able to counter. Hey, woulda, shoulda, whatever that expression is. We didn't. Well, let's watch what happens. Just spot, go to it right away. Call out. Left. Right, whatever. You know the middle, that's uh, the spire. I know at least two on the right. Somebody's bitch balling in the back. Okay, bitch ball. Uh, a little nickname for people that stay at spawn the whole time. Um, you see the smudge here? Uh, that's Nevin. He's up slightly, and I'm back here, just a little bit behind him. Pretty decent front line. When I mention the bitch ball again, uh, looking at the drone camera here, that's their team spawn, the enemy team spawn. They got two guys still there. It's common to have one guy sit there because it's high ground, lay some fire in when everybody else runs in. In this case, there's two of them there, but uh, not for too long. But my team right now, uh, with Nevin slightly up there, me uh, a little bit back, I got a, uh, another teammate right beside me, we're in a decent position. Be careful, right down the middle. So here is that smart play. We have Gene uh, crawling in from the enemy spawn towards midfield. Now normally we should have somebody to our left when we spawn, it's the south part of the field, that can see that lane, but you don't really expect somebody low to the ground and the person that was there, I guess, just wasn't in position. We don't think about it. So he's crawling midfield under our radar as me and my teammates just wait to pick off the enemies uh, one by one, uh, one by one rather, to uh, hopefully win this game. Yeah. But hey, Kel tired. <laughs> We're going back to the drone cam. Uh, Gene has made it to this spot here. Uh, we're going to look at the overhead map. So uh, he's right here. Uh, Nevin's here and I am here. 
Now you can see with a little movement in uh, for Gene here behind this, it's just a, a fortified area full of tires. He's got a flank on me and Nevin and my teammate was beside me. Uh, once again, we should have somebody in this lane here uh, looking out for an enemy in this position, but he crawled in the whole way. So a uh, pretty good move. You can say it was silly we didn't concentrate there, but honestly, uh, played here quite a few times. Just pretty decent move. I, I, I couldn't crawl that far if I wanted to. That's it, move from the back. You're too good for that. Outside missing Gene coming over to our left, we are in a good position. We've identified at least three of the enemies and we're just waiting for them to make a mistake. Or not necessarily a mistake, but try to do something to allow us to at least uh, start uh, taking them out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, things change real fast. Uh, Gene has popped up here on the camera. He's taken Nevin out, and uh, he's taken me out, actually got me in the head. Nevin is going, uh, stop shooting, stop shooting. Gene was shooting, and then kind of trying to lean over to get me. And remember, I got another teammate behind me. So he, uh, Gene is not overshooting Nevin. He's trying to get me behind him, and he, and he got me. So you'll hear when uh, the game restarts that, uh, no, no, don't worry, he was, he was just trying to get me and Evan that, just making sure everything's cool. Wait a minute, uh, I've been knocked out, and Evan's been knocked out, so when we restart, we're gonna have the outro music and ride this one into the sunset. He was shooting at me. He was shooting at me, it's legit. No, no, he was, I was behind you, that's why he did the extra. So yeah, uh, Gene did not overshoot anybody. Got into that good spot. By the way, he runs a tip X. He's doing that with a tip X, so good for him. Uh, my team does go on to hang on a little bit, but we do lose the game. Great play by Gene. We don't get revenge on the guys that have been kind of sitting back. But you know what? It was a good one, and you don't need to win a game to have fun. And certainly on this day, we, we took more losses than we gave out, but we still had a blast. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, at the end of the day, it's just a game.